Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and to honor the musical icon known as Prince, what I thought I would do is give you some, uh, give you five Prince riffs to learn how to play. Okay, keep them fun, keep them easy, uh, and we could just celebrate some some of Prince's signature songs. Uh, so the first one I want to show you is Kiss. I've always thought this was a really fun one to play, and I'm going to give you uh, the basic outline of the song uh, so you can play this, including a lot of times when Prince would play, there would be sections in the song where you don't play as a guitar player, but I'm going to give you some chords to be able to play so you can play along with the whole tune. So the first thing we've got is this thing here. So what we're going to do is start off with this first funky chord right here. We're going to be using the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings. We're going to go to the 12th fret of the 4th string with our middle finger. We're going to go to the 11th fret of the 3rd string with our 1st finger. We're going to go to the 12th fret of the 2nd string with our ring finger. And we're going to go to the 12th fret of the 1st string with our pinky. That's that chord. And then what we're going to be doing is basically a 12-bar blues here. Um, and I'm using an A chord right here. It's an A power chord. I'm playing 7, 9, 10 on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings. You could play the A chord anywhere, but I think it sounds kind of appropriate for the song. And then when it goes to the 4 chord, the D chord, I'm going to be playing 10, 10, 7, 7. And when it goes to the E chord, I'm going to do the same thing, but tw uh, two frets higher. So I'm doing 9, 9, 12, 12. Okay, so let me play you the, the, the verse section here. So he's singing right now. Actually, he's not. Then we come in. Sorry, with the A. Then we're going to head down to the D chord. And then back to the A chord. Then we're going to go up to the E chord. Then back to the D. Then back up to the E. Then back down. Then you're going to go back to that chord again, okay? Okay, and the second song we're going to look at is 1999. There's a really great funky chord in here that I thought would be kind of fun for you to play. It, it really kind of goes through the entire song. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this part. So what we're doing there is we're going to press on the uh, tenth fret of the fourth string with our middle finger. We're going to press on the eighth fret of the third string with our first finger. We're going to press on the tenth fret of the second string with our ring finger. And that's our prime chord. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the pinky to press on the eleventh fret of both the uh, first and second strings when we go right there. And then what we're going to do is go. And right there, what we're doing is we're just going to play the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings, and we're going to add that pinky on the 11th fret of the 2nd string. So you have... Just like that. Okay, so we're going uh, 10, 8, 10 on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings there. And then we're adding the pinky on the 11th fret of the 1st and 2nd strings. And then right there, we're just skipping the first string entirely. You just funk it up, have some fun with the rhythm. Um, these are just great examples of the funk, the James Brown inspired, inspired kind of chord shapes that, that Prince and his, his band would use. It's just really, really neat. So that's what 1999 is going to be. Now let's take a look at the fundamental chord structure of Purple Rain, and it looks like this. Okay. So 
So what I'm doing there is I'm starting off by playing one on the first string, one on the second string, three on the third string, and then zero on the fourth string. So that's the first chord. And then what he does, uh, actually, I, again, I don't remember who played this in the studio, but I'm assuming it was probably Prince, but what you're going to do is move from the three on the third string to the second string with your middle finger. And then you're going to add your third finger up here on G, and then you can take your pinky and put it back on the third fret of the uh, third string. And then what you do is kind of deaden out the fifth string with your ring finger here. And that's your second chord, so you have... See that? So I'm deadening out that fifth string so it doesn't get noisy. And then I'm going to go to an F bar chord. And then I'm going to head over and do, it's going to go uh, 6, 8, 10. So 6 on the 5th uh, string, 8 on the 4th string, 10 on the 3rd string. And I'm going to bar over everybody on the 6th fret here. And that's how you get that really pretty chord right there. Okay, so you're playing an E flat uh, with a, um, an added 2 or uh, E flat add 9 is what you could call that. Sus. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that's what that would be. So you're going... Just kind of summarizing here. Just really pretty sounding chords. Then you're back again. So that would be the chord structure for Purple Rain. All right, so we're going to kick up the distortion just a little bit for the next one. This is going to be Let's Go Crazy, another signature Prince uh, a song. And so what we're going to do is we're going to play an F-sharp power chord. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the 7th fret of the 2nd the, uh, string, 8th fret of the 3rd string, and then 9th fret of the 4th string. And we're going to do a little sus thing here. So we're going from... Then we're going to play this 7, 8, 9. And then I'm going to do a little hammer on with my pinky onto the ninth fret of the third string. Then you start the riff. Now, I always thought when I was younger that the riff was. But I actually think what he's doing is going. The first time he goes, so it's two, three, four, four, and then the second time, it does that. So it goes two, three, four, two, four. So that's the riff for uh, Let's Go Crazy, kind of a fun song to play. And the fifth one we're going to look at is one of my favorites by Prince. It's I Could Never Take the Place of Your Man. Um, and the basic chord progression for this song, let me show you that first. You're going to be doing C, G, and F. So you've got this. And again, you can change up the rhythm however you like, but that's what the, the verse is doing. And then it goes into the chorus, um, which is the same chords. And there's this little kind of interlude in there where he goes... which has got a lot of little chord changes in there. So you're going F major to F minor, E minor. I'm going up to the uh, fifth string bar chord. E minor, D major, then D minor, then G, then you're back again. Okay, so kind of a fun little section in there. F major to F minor to E minor, and you could play it down here. 
it doesn't matter. And then D major, and then D minor, and then G. Okay, then you get your little riff on top, the... That thing right there, which is going... On the second string, you're playing six, five, three, then five on the third string, and then you're going to head back up to the three, and then the five, so it goes. Then you're going to do a little hammer-on pull-off from three to five, and then back to that five right here on the third string. So it goes. And then there's this little vocal thing in the background that goes... Which is kind of fun to play on the guitar. So you're doing eight, six, five, four. So you hear that when you're got You have that little thing in the background as well. So, again, another really, really awesome Prince song. I'm a, a very big Prince fan, and, and it's such a big tragedy, unfortunately, that he's passed away. But uh, we can celebrate his music. Um, again, the point of this isn't that you have to play all the songs exactly perfect. The point is have some fun uh, playing some Prince songs. If you've never really you know, thought about playing Prince, there's a lot of really great chordal things going on. Needless to say, an amazing soloist as well, um, but because this video is fairly short, I just want to make sure and give you some prime uh, Prince riffs uh, that you could look at and, and have some fun playing. So take care, stay positive, and keep practicing, and I'll talk to you soon.